Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my video if you decide to watch. A little bit of noise in the background. It is Sunday early afternoon and it's before dinner time. So I have limited time, but I want to paint. I haven't been able to sit down and enjoy my paints for uh, a week or so here. So you know what? I'm going to use the good stuff. I'm using some Michael Harding paints here. This was a set that was kindly gifted to me. Um, well, I won the contest from Watercolor Beginners and Beyond Facebook group, so that was last summer, and I thought maybe I can use the colors to just doodle some hearts. So uh, let's see, I'm using Scarlet Lake and Opera Rose. I've never used these colors until now, like they've just been sitting here for a while, so let's see what happens. I'm super nervous. <laughs> Going in for deep purple. Oh my. I'm definitely a Valentine's Day inspired here. So I'm going for a heart ish shape and then I'll bring in the doodles afterwards. Oh my, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna use the spray bottle. My background's already a hot mess, so I don't mind that. Wow, that's gorgeous. So let's not touch that. <laughs> let's not even touch that. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay, so I moved the set over here so you guys can see the colors I'm picking out. Um, ultra blue or ultramarine blue, I assume. Okay, so another purple-ish. I have other watercolors here too, so I might reach in for some of those. I'm going to grab a little bit of a French ultramarine from Windsor & Newton. Wow, that's amazing. All right, so another heart shape here. Who says hearts can't be blue? I know my single self is going to be on Valentine's for the for, uh, fifth year in a row, so it is all good. bringing in some vermilion. The vermilion is from uh, Van Gogh. And then I'll, wow, they're connecting. That's beautiful. All right, so more of the spray bottle so they can do their own thing. Wow, that's beautiful. I wanna intensify that blue though. I went in for some ultramarine green shade. Look at that gorgeous color mixing right there. Okay. Let's come down here. I'm going back into the opera rose. These are the only brushes I feel comfortable doing this technique with. These are the Famui Mop brushes that I've had in my stash now for quite some time, so I use Vermilion. So why not go ahead and, uh, oh, one second. Apologies, guys, about the uh, little interruption there. I had to help my son out with something. As you can see, I went ahead and kept working with this heart and this heart is just absolutely beautiful. I'm using uh, more of this opera rose 
I'm using both the Michael Harding and the Winsor Newton Opera Rose, and then I came in over here with the Vermilion and the Transparent Orange from Winsor Newton. And then these beautiful little droplets of yellow, that's from Core. That's their Cadmium Yellow Primrose. Yep, and it's just so pretty. All right, so I apologize for not showing too much of the process here, but I sure hope you can see the granulation that's going on up here. And so what I'll do is I'll use the rest of what I have here on my brush and I'll do some splatter. Sounds good to me. Yep. Beaut oh wow, beautiful. My background is already all crazy, so I don't mind. I'm grabbing some more of the Windsor & Newton Opera Pink. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. <laughs> Like, what the heck? <laughs> and I love what happened up here. Just love it. Que bello. All right. I've been meaning to do this too as well. I'll dedicate another video to it, just doing the splatter and then coming in with my brush and softening up the edges. And that will make a whole doodle video on its own. You can see the, you can see just how pretty they look. The possibility, that's what I meant to say. So just using the brush, excuse my hand, to do the doodling here a little bit. Makes it look like I purposely did this, but in reality, this is all intuitive. And I pretty much used all of my my paint here. Even adding, wow, <laughs> I guess. That's the Windsor and Newton pink. Oh my goodness, okay, the doodles, that's right. That's the whole point, right, of this? Okay, this pink is obviously taking over. <laughs> And I want to put some blue back in here, so give me just one second to to do that. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I'm done because I do want to try to to keep the heart shapes, you know, looking like hearts. Let me go ahead and heat set this. Normally I would let this dry, but I'm on a bit of a time crunch today. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and then bring in some doodles and I'll see you at the end. Hey everyone, voiceover Laura here. Well, I begin with the Tombow 05 pen, but I guess maybe the texture, well, I don't guess. I know the texture of the medium paper proved to be too much for my loyal 05, so it ran out of ink. And so I brought in the Tombow Furinosuke pen. It's a soft tip one, but I found this pen hard to work because the ink was so juicy, it just pulled up in areas, and I was so scared to have all that ink smear because it's not truly waterproof, it's water resistant. I don't know if they claim it to be waterproof, but either way, it did the job. It darkened up the lines, and I was able to go in there and make all those lovely leaves a bit darker, and I connected everything in an air graphic way. And then I began to add some Yuli gold watercolor and golden Buddha. 
blended that out. I'm also going to add um, uh, some more line work, but I'll do that together with you guys in real time, okay? So I'll see you in the end. Okay, guys, so real time here. I thought it would be nice to come in with the Sharpie 04 pen and add just some delicate lines to the flowers and the leaves that I added in. I lost control of how much ink was coming out of the pen that I was using, and that's because uh, midway through, I ran out of ink. Uh, the 05 drawing pen from Tombow just gave up on me, which is fine. I've had that pen for now, I don't know, three plus years. I'm surprised it didn't give up sooner. Um, and then I began using the Tombow Furinosuke pen, the soft tip one, and I found that pen really hard to control around these darker patches of ink that you see here. But all in all, especially with the gold splatter, I think everything looks really nice. And I'm just adding some little bit of line work here in between. Maybe coming over here and right here. I'm almost, yeah, I'm tempted. <laughs> adding a little bit more like I'm just making a mess here but yep I think I want to add more no I'm gonna add more I just love these shapely leaves they just roll right out of my hands when it comes to doing them it would be neat to practice um, that just small little dainty leaves oh here we go <laughs> right over that gold just like that well it makes the hearts look fuller too right so let's add some let's see right here oh gosh love that didn't finish my thought. What I wanted to say was, uh, wouldn't it be neat to do that whole um, just continuous line? Looks like this one came right out of this heart because that one came out of this heart. So why not have one? Eh, okay. <laughs> That's good. You begin to see the possibilities with adding details and you just don't know when to stop with all this watercolor doodle stuff. But I had fun. I had a lot of fun. I use colors that I never use at all. It's just sitting there. And look at that beautiful gold. That's the Golden Buddha from Yuli that I used. And uh, there we go. Isn't that pretty? And the texture of the paper, of course, the medium paper is fantastic. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching if you decided to. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. Plenty of natural light left for some really pretty up close shots. And I'll share that in the community tab. And uh, I'll see you all again really soon. Okay, bye bye.